Hello, my name is Corey Tinkus with Ixia, and today we're at Mobile World Congress 2017, and I'm joined here with Arthur Tylock from Canonical, the Telco Program League, and Michael Lazar from Data Art, Vice President of Telecom. Today we're going to talk about VNF onboarding and several demonstrations that we've joined forces to create to show how to accelerate VNF onboarding and test using network services. Arthur, could you tell us a little bit more about Canonical, please? Uh, Canonical is the company behind Ubuntu Linux, uh, also working with uh, our customer partners uh, and open source communities on VNF onboarding, uh, NFVI, cloud automation uh, problems. Very good, thank you. And Michael, could you tell us a little bit more about DataArt? Sure, DataArt's a global consultancy. We're about 20 years old and have approximately 2,300 developers and consultants on staff. Could you show us more what we've created? Absolutely, Corey, thank you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the demonstration we've had prepared today. So what I'll be showing you is a network service for VNF testing. As Corey has mentioned, we have uh, we've to several partners. We're using IX Load from Ixia. We have Astonis Session Board Controller, which is sometimes referred to as SPC. We have Open Source Mano, the Etsy Open Source Mano implementation. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. What we're showing you first you see over here on the screen, is a very classic call flow for testing. And what you see is we have an originating caller, a receiver caller, and we're going through the Sonus Session Border Controller. And we're going to be putting throughput through it as well as measuring the quality and showing that when we're done. This is one view of it, so let's take a look at how Open Source Mano wants to view it. And now what we're seeing on the screen is the network service for VNF testing. And this is the view of how the VNF descriptors are put together in order to form the network service. And we can see here again, you'll see the same elements of an originator, terminator, the Sonus session border controller, Ixia and the Ixia uh, IX load and the Ixia IX load components that are here. And they're all put together. Running the test is actually very simple. Once the test has been loaded in, you come and you do a configuration. And from that, in order to configure it, you come in and we'll look at the records, and we'll look at the VNF record description. And we see here we have SBC test for the Sonus Session Border Controller. We'll come into order to call the primitives, which are the directives for what we're trying to control. And we'll take a look at a sample configuration. Now what's happening here is once we apply this configuration, it's passed on to Juju, which is not shown. It's under the covers inside of OSM, but it's there. And we'll take a look at Juju a little bit later when we show a different way of approaching this. So this information is then passed in, and then the test is run. Now some tests, this is, tele, this is telco, some tests can be 15 minutes. Some tests can take days in order to run successfully and get the completion. So we'll just assume we've run it. Now let's go take a look at a sample set of results. And so here what we have sample results in the output of the test from the IX load product set. And what this does is give us a lot of information, very detailed technical information about how the VNF under test performed. Right, and we can kind of scroll through this, but it's not just about the number of calls, it's how each call went through, the time to set up, the time to tear down, the quality of individual channels over time. Very, very detailed information to which operators need in order to make sure whatever they're trying to test is going to meet their needs. And I will just scroll through it. And again, a lot of rich information here that the operators need in order to certify the solution. This is one way of doing it. We can also take a look, and we should take a look at the Sonus SBC itself, and see again, you can see that it's instantiated and the calls are running through this software as well. What I'd like to show you now is the Juju model way of doing the exact same thing. And here, before, before I'd shown you the open source mantle, Mano model. Here I'm showing you Ixia as a charm, along with various components. We have an IMS core, that's up here. Uh, we also have a virtual EPC and a firewall. And if you look, what you can see here is that we have the IX load software, again, along with the IX load components, known as the chassis and the load modules that go here. We've also charmed the actual tests. So in this instance, we have a virtual e you have an EPC test. So when we connect the EPC, or the test to the EPC, the test will begin to run in the background. But I think it's very important we should take a look at what's actually going on inside IX load. So let's take a look at the test here that we have. What's extremely important to realize is 
with Juju as the VNF, you know, the, the VNF manager, what's going on is it's passing the parameters into and using the APIs and making the appropriate calls and developing the appropriate solution in order to actually test, in this case, an EPC, which is a very complex test. You can see here on the screen. Doing this and setting this up by hand takes time. But the automation provided by Juju, it's far quicker, far more repeatable, and far more reproducible, which really helps accelerate the testing of the various VNFs um, that an operator may need to go through. So, Arthur, would you like to say a few words? So, Juju is uh, utilized here to provide the generic VNFM function, and Juju is a service service modeling uh, system, uh, which is focused on the on services, their relations at scale, independent, independently of the underlying substrate, which could be cloud, virtual, or physical. Uh, with this model, uh, we have Clearwater IMS, EPC, and firewall, VNFs, uh, managed uh, with Juju, and tested with XC appliances uh, provided also in form of uh, Juju Charms. So Juju Charm is an encapsulation of the operational knowledge required to deploy and manage lifecycle of the of the service. In this case, we we see uh, some examples of the VNFs which can be deployed and and, and drive uh, via Juju model. Well, thanks for showing us that demonstration, Michael. My and uh, we really appreciate, Ixia really appreciates working with yourself and with Arthur and Canonical, and we look forward to continuing our work together. Thank you. Thank you.